What better location for an Islamic museum than Sultan Ahmet, the heart of Istanbul's historic old town? So we're about to enter the palace of Ibrahim Pasha. Since it was built in the 16th century, it's been an army barracks, it's been a prison, and now it's a museum of Turkish and Islamic art. The collection was set up towards the end of the 19th century to protect artifacts being robbed from historic buildings and mosques. There are many relics from olden times, including the Seljuks, the Mamluks, the Safavids, and of course the Ottoman era. The museums had more than one home. For years, it was housed in a soup kitchen inside the Blue Mosque complex. But in 1983, the collection was moved to Ibrahim Pasha's palace. There are many stories about Ibrahim Pasha, the first Grand Vizier of the Ottoman era, appointed in 1523 by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. Enslaved in his youth, Pasha formed a strong bond with the Sultan when they were both young. He soon gained huge influence, both as a military leader and as a diplomat working for the Sultan. But, as legend has it, their close friendship infuriated the Sultan's wife, Hurem. She's thought to have plotted against Pasha, which eventually led to his execution in 1536. His palace has a garden and many original features. And there's more than enough room for the flying carpet collection. This door, dating back to 1955, was rescued from the Great Mosque in Jizra. But it's the religious relics section that contains some of the rarest pieces. So there's actually something really amazing in here. This, in this little circle, is fragments of the Prophet Muhammad's beard. He allowed his beard to be distributed among Muslims when he shaved it off while he was still alive. It's not just hair, there are his footprints too. And of course, Qurans and manuscripts, both large and small. The museum's displays range from Islam's early years right up to the 20th century. So it's not just a visual feast of culture, but also a journey through time. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Istanbul.